Hello, everybody. Happy Stormy Thursday. I am a little bit early today. Um, not a lot, just a little. Uh, just thought I might actually be able to figure out the comments before I, everybody got on. Let's see how that goes. So far, that's so good. <laughs> it's not opening. There we go. So yes, it is Thursday evening. Today we have had two rounds of hail, and I think we're on our third round of it is pouring rain right now. Uh, it's no longer beating on the window, so that means it's shifted direction a little bit. Uh, that was fun. Every time it turns out the rascal, our puppy, enjoys um, this weather. I wanted to go out and check out what hail was and, and play in the hail and. Every time I opened the door to let him out, I got it like straight in the face because that was the direction it was coming. And then open it up again. And then the WWE match, match that ensued as I tried to dry him off. Um, hello, Nancy and Jen. Yeah, he just kept going out and then coming back in and then going out and coming back in. And, and then I had to dry him off. I was just, I'm exhausted. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hoping he tires out enough that he doesn't want to go out anymore. But I mean, moisture is good. <clears throat> I can't complain about that. But yes, it has been a grueling day with this weather and this puppy. Um, I got scratched in the process. Oops, wrong side. Somewhere here, I got a nice big scratch on my chin somewhere in the process. Um, I tend to win, though. I, I uh, In the end, I tend to win, even though I don't know if you can call it a win after, after what we go through. But, you know. Hello, Dana. So yes, tea is not loaded with caffeine, but I don't drink a lot of coffee. I, I mostly only drink coffee when I don't when I'm sick. Um, I get like sinus issues and stuff like that, and then just hot black coffee seems to do the trick. So, but I'm I'm being soothed by my tea and and hoping there's just enough caffeine in it to get me through the next few hours. Um, kids are funny. It is pouring rain, but that doesn't mean it's not scooter weather. Um, as I look out my front window, <clears throat> okay. So here we have it, Ooh, the June, June, nope, May, it's a bit long day. You know what else I did? I made the mistake. I made shepherd's pie for supper and shepherd's pie is just so good. And I had so much, <laughs> now I so need a nap. Um, anyway, um, this is May's <laughs> paper pumpkin. And yesterday, Sarah Douglas did a Usually when I get them, I just rip them open, but I'm like, nope, I'm gonna save this for, we could all do it together. So then yesterday, Sarah Douglas, who's the CEO of Stampin' Up! and helped design this kit, she did a kit together on this kit. So I thought, wow, that's a good enough reason to open it up. And I had completely forgotten that there's possibly a voucher for $34 worth of free Stampin' product in here. And that almost made me open it up early again, but I, I didn't. So I have my little, after knife because I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. The plastic is still on. No matter the temptation, I watched the entire thing last night of her putting it together without actually putting it together at the same time because I was waiting. But I do know how cool the cards are now because I've watched her put them together. So first up, let's do the plastic. And I'm not sure why I'm doing this like it's surgery because it's really not. Um, let's see. I forgot about her. So I, I do remember hearing the stats one time. I know there's fi about 50,000 demonstrators worldwide. And I think probably, you know, 35 to 40 of those are probably in North America. And paper pumpkin is only a North American thing. But I'm, I'm sure, so if each demonstrator, and a lot of demonstrators have a subscription, not, not necessarily each, but but if each demonstrator had either themselves or at least one customer, there'd be at least 50,000, 60,000 easily of these subscriptions. And I do remember hearing the number once, but I, I can't remember what it actually was. Probably goes up and down every time anyway. But So that's what the odds are. There's 200 vouchers in here. And I don't think they ever said how many were in the States and how many were in Canada. They just said 200 vouchers. It's, if, it's, if, it's in the, if you see any videos with a $25 one, that's the 25 USD. The Canadian equivalent is 35, 35, 34. What did I say? 34. Um, 
So yeah, it's the same prize, just different different currency. And if it's in here, it'll be right on top. And it's not. <laughs> I figured the odds, what's the movie? The odds were not in my favor, but that's okay. Because it's still paper pumpkin. Um, the way they package them, yes. It, if it was going to be here, it would have been, it would have been added right at the end. So I would love to know if anybody has actually found a voucher in theirs. Okay, basic gray, always a good color stamp and spot. Uh, what does this say? Happy you, just for you make me can do anything. You make me can do anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, we've hit that point of tired. I'm, I'm warning you now. Oh, I like the little speckles. Speckles are always good. Uh, what did the other one say? To celebrate your day, to have you in my life. Uh, for those of you who are um, farmers market fans or vendors, the next kit they, they keep talking about is the farmer's market kind of feel to it. Um, I think there's lots of botanical. Is bo would botanical include food? I did figure, I did learn the difference between floral and botanic. And I don't know, I keep saying bow and botanical, um, but I'm not sure if that includes fruits and vegetables. For some reason, I'm pretty sure there's fruits and vegetables in this next one. But they said it sort of reminds you of a day at the farmer's market. And your paper pumpkin next month comes with one canvas bag in it and the option to have add-ons of more canvas bags, which unfortunately are not in this picture. Um, so as we get more sneak peeks, and I think I've already posted one better picture than this, um, but that's next month's kits. And you have till the, what month did I say we were in? May. So you have till the 10th of June to subscribe for that or let me know you want one. Um, I do believe this, this tissue paper is a darker blue than normal. Uh, it's almost Tahitian Tide, which maybe it is because that's one of the new in colors. The new in color Tahitian Tide or Tahiti Tide? I always say it wrong. Tahitian Tide. Um, and I at first I was like, hmm, I'm not sure, because to equate it to like a turquoise. I'm like, eh, I'm not sure turquoise is my color. Holy cow, do I love Tahitian Tide though. It is a fun, happy color. All of the in colors are fun, happy colors. Um, I hope I don't need that box again because I just threw it in the corner and now it's too far to reach. Okay, so let us see what we have for our cards. Now, because there's five new in colors, you get 10 cards this month. They seem to be more often than not um, nine, like three of three. But this time, because there's five colors, you get two of each of the five colors, so you end up with 10 cards. And you can't go wrong with tear and tape. So I have all sorts of fun facts that I learned watching this, uh, the kit together last night. There's no glue dots in here. And uh, some people love the glue dots and some people hate the glue dots. It's very entertaining um, how many discussions and how long discussions can be over very specific items like you know glue dots in a paper pumpkin kit. Um, it amuses me. So I, I listen to them all. I'm, I, I could talk stamping and nerd out on it all day long, every day. Um, so there's none because you need the tear and tape for the um, the gift card edition. So, and, and it works for like some of the bigger pieces that are in the elements that are in this kit. So you didn't get glue dots, you got tear and tape. You always get dimensionals though, these little mini dimensionals. Still don't know why, sometimes it'll work to focus. Sometimes it doesn't. And then it comes with these little, I wish we had more of these, I love these. Um, uh, embellishments, little colored dots. And so these are in the different in colors. And if you order, the ones from the catalog are different sizes. So this is supposed to be a sampling. And the ones in the catalog, I've used enough of them that you probably don't know if you can see one. They're ombre. So they have small ones and big ones, and they go from light to dark in different tones of each color. So the ones you order from the catalog, you get a lot more, you get two sizes and you get ombre. But I quite like this these little ones. And because these colors are so much fun, I just love the look of this. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to stick that whole thing on a project. Okay. Ooh, Tahitian. Nope, this is Parakeet Party. Parakeet Party, it kind of looks yellow on there, is a lovely green. Possibly my favorite of the end colors. <clears throat> then we have, it's either Starry Sky or Starry Night. I'm cheating and looking at my ink pads. Starry Sky. Sweet Sorbet. Orchid Oasis and Tahitian Tad. So those are our colors. And I just realized now that as I'm putting them out, I am putting them too high up and you can't actually see them. <laughs> so those are those are just the envelopes. Look at how pretty they are. And they're just the envelopes. So that's what we have in there. Um, as, as I'm looking at this, if you start drooling and thinking, oh, I should have got that. 
Normally we don't know till the first Monday after the 21st, if there's gonna be refills or not, or sometimes full kits. But they were they discussed it on the, the kit together last night. And they said that yes, there were refills. Now, refills mean you don't get the stamp set in the ink spot. You just get like all the consumables. Um, <clears throat> so I'll have to wait and see if they actually have the full kits or if they just have those. If you're local, it's not a big deal because you can always borrow mine. But uh, you'll be able to, uh, I'll know for sure on Monday. So if you are interested in uh, in getting refills or possibly the full kit for this, let me know and I'll keep an eye out. But they are, there's at least something that will be released on Monday. They've already said that. Okay, so these four cards are uh, just white card bases. These we'll get to in a second. Here's and there's going to be lots of alternatives. Here's the other thing I don't know if you know. So with Paper Pumpkin, they have it's a whole program, and there there's so much. As a demonstrator, you get sneak peeks, so you find out ahead of time, and you get to see little videos and find out colors and different things. Um, but then there's also like a Paper Pumpkin fan page. And they show all sorts of things. One of the things they show is alternatives. So next week, and I think it's Wednesday, but I'd have to double check. They're they're doing another. Um, the manager of the program usually does it. And he has various guests come with him. Uh, next week, Sarah Douglas. She's going to be on that one too. She said. So and they'll just be showing alternatives. So and I can tell you. So this is one of the card bases. We'll get to that one in a second here. But and this little piece pops out. And for the card, you don't need it. You just need this. So you can be guaranteed there will be people who are coming up with all sorts of, see, you know what I see here? I see mountains and the sun and a lake. <laughs> um, but there will be people coming up with all sorts of alternatives to use this and then the actual pieces of the thing. So um, that's always fun to watch. So you get lots of ideas. So even if you don't like a particular card in here, there will always be ideas. Yeah, these are going to keep being in my way. So I'm just going to tell you now. So these, you have um, two of each color. These are the gift card holders. So what it lets you do is fold over on the three sides, put your tear and tape on here on these three sides, and then, well, honestly, you could make your own design and stick it right to the front if you wanted to. You could stick it on the inside of the card. You could stick it down in the corner. You could turn your card this way, put it. So this is basically, and I don't have one on my desk. I almost, almost always have my card, but I must've left it. I must've left it in one of my samples I made because I do not see it. Anyways, credit card, gift card will fit in here. So that's what they are. So you can use them or not. I expect that some people will not use them as gift card holders and will find all sorts of interesting things to do with those as well. So we'll see. Uh, this card base has gold. This card base goes this way because I know um, speckles on it. Here's another one, but this one, by the way, as well as this, I don't know what they all are. They almost look like they're on watercolor paper. They have a very cool pattern to them. Uh, this one, does this fit? No. Okay, so <laughs> sorry, sort of thinking as we go. Um, hi, Nikki. Yeah, I, I'm curious. The odd, the odds, 200 vouchers out of like 50 or 60,000 kits, which would be my, and I mean, I know some demonstrators order 10 or 20 kits each. So yeah, but it, it, it would have just been fun to, to know someone who actually got the voucher and got to get the free stuff. So uh, this one, this U is going to pop out of here. And I thought it might, but I'm trying not to be too rammy here and rip it. Um, so this is the part you're going to use on the card. I thought this one might work, but the U that's in here is the same um, script and everything. It's just not the same size. So you can't quite type U over top. <laughs> I thought maybe you could. So this is for one card. So this is obviously the Sweet Sorbet card. Uh, these card bases are, well, I'm going to say distressed. They're very smoothly distressed. But they're, they're wavy at the bottom, which goes with, oh yeah, see all the papers seem to be watercolor looking which goes with this base, which is kind of wavy. And then I think there's one more base in here. And then we have a big U, which is the one that goes with that one. I know that because like I said, I watched the thing last night. So those are the bases. And then we have big letters. Best wishes, happy, U, and another happy. And there's two each because you get to make two of each card. Um, these ones, there are four of these, four of these, and four of these, which makes me think, I'm just trying to remember, what, yeah, I'm pretty sure um, you're going to have two extras of each of these labels, because the way the cards go, some of them are words, 
I think anyways, it seems like there's, well, there's too many of them here anyways, but it, that's what it seems like to me. Uh, this one makes a cool card with the ombre parakeet party strips. And then this, yeah, they all have kind of this watercolor look to them. I like that. Okay, cardstock. I have to be careful because Rascal loves to come in the office and he, it's like he shops. He just comes in, he finds some paper he likes. Um, <laughs> last night he took off one of the clamshells. He likes the old clamshells, which I store die cuts and stuff in. He likes those because um, they, I think because they make a crinkle and make a lot of noise and like there's, you know, good depth to them when you bite on them. So he steals those all the time. And last night he stole one full of die cut flowers and I caught him and I went running after him and he stops by the door and he looked at me and I said to him, Rascal, give me that back. And he had this like die cut thing sticking in his mouth and he like threw it forward onto the floor and looked at it like, I don't got nothing. <laughs> so it was very entertaining, but he is, uh, yeah, he's super helpful around the office. Okay, so these cards actually go together pretty quick and I'm just gonna show you because it's kind of fun. And it seems like 15 minutes is just not nearly long enough to hang out. So let's do that. So this one is the Tahitian Tide. Um, just thinking, what did I do with all my blocks? Why do I not see blocks on my desk? I will not make all of the cards. That would be crazy. But I might just show you how one of each goes. So this one goes here. I do need blocks though. <laughs> I do have seen to have buried them. Um, and and I, I have said that before. Oh, this is what I meant. This is one of his other favorite ones I had in my farmer's market stuff. And I have chased that down and got that from him about three times too. Uh, there we go, good enough I wanted. So yes, I normally I don't look at the instructions. I've said that before. Um, I look at the pictures a little bit, but because I actually watched Sarah put them together last night, I, I even less need to look at the instructions. Um, it's also funny, There's uh, everybody's got their, their way of doing things. I find that if I leave the little, the little uh, labels in the piece of white cards, like around them, when I go to stamp them, I, I just I have a hard time seeing them. Maybe it's because I have progressives. <laughs> and depending which way you look, you see different things. So honestly, I always pop mine out. Now she shows you and she's just like, whip, 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 but she does hers inside. Nope. Makes it really hard for me to see if I try to do them inside. So I do pop mine out. So this one gets the word, and I'm popping out the die cuts carefully. Carefully, carefully. Um, so I'm popping out this. So this one has the word happy on it. So really, let's see if I can do two things at once. Um, you could just write happy and celebrate your day. That would work. Uh, happy to have you in my life. You make me happy. Um, happy can do anything, I guess. I guess you could make that into a card. Maybe it doesn't make a, a lot of sense, but. Um, and just for happy. I don't know that just for happy makes sense. That seems weird. Okay, so you can use all but unhappy you. So you could probably use all but two of the stamps on your card and it would still make sense. Okay, so this one goes in here. The word happy goes on it. And then, so depending how you do this is going to depend on whether you end up with enough labels. And maybe that's why there's more because we're going to put you make me happy on this one. But if I decided I wanted to put happy to celebrate your day, I thought it was just celebrate. I realize now it says to celebrate. If I wanted to make it say happy to celebrate your day, that's obviously not going to fit on that label. Just like here, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak over and grab my my big ink pad. If I thought of it, I would have done that beforehand. Um, just because that's my preference. Um, here's the other trip trick trip trick for you. Um, sometimes with photopolymer, when they're long and skinny, so these sentiments are the perfect example. When I go to put them on my block, I cannot get them straight for love nor money because they're so pliable. So the easiest way to make sure that you're putting them on your block straight, at least are not like necessarily straight oriented, but not like all bent and wavy as in that, is just to put them down and then pick them up. Now you can see through, so you can tell if they're straight or not. But when I try to just like pick it off there and put it on, they're like, they always seem to be kitty wumpus. I like that word, so we'll go with kitty wumpus. Um, 
So yeah, if you decided to use to celebrate your date, it's obviously not going to fit here. So you're going to use one of the longer ones, but you want to make sure you still have the option to use a longer one on the one you're supposed to. So there's definitely extras and you definitely have the option. So this one says, you make me happy. Hopefully I'm not sticking my head in the middle of everything, but I can't see what I'm doing otherwise. I'll just set that off to the side because I might still need it. Okay, so we are going to put dimensionals on the back of the happy and on back the dimensionals on the back of my sentiment. Um, ladies that are joining me, uh, how many of you are paper pumpkin subscribers? Just out of curiosity. I know Nikki is because she told me she didn't she didn't get her thing. I'm trying to, I don't want these to be too floppy. So I'm I'm kind of going a little overboard with the the things. And some of them, some of them are um, some of the places seem a little too narrow for it. But seriously, every time I get a new thing of dimensionals, I go around and I make my own size dimensionals. And I cut all the end pieces so I can get them whatever size I want. And then some of them turn out to be skinnier pieces than the other ones. And they work in the smaller spots. There we go. So that's the happy. And then put them on there too. So I know there's a time delay on comments, but last time, oh, Dan did I am and no golden ticket either. Bummer. I was really hoping it'd be somebody I knew who got one. I mean, somebody in Canada has to get one. They, I'm, I'm sure they didn't fix it, but I'm guessing that they said, okay, a certain number have to go in the boxes going in this way direction and a certain number here. <clears throat> um, I totally, I was saying something, I totally lost my train of thought there, but, um, oh yes, the, the, the comments. So last time when we were doing this, I'm very particular about these little nibs that come from like the die cutting. And I usually will, if I have more time, I will go around and trim all of them. Sometimes they're not super noticeable, sometimes they are. Um, yeah, so after last time's live, I noticed a bunch of comments and I looked at the time of them <clears throat> and they would have they would have been said during the live. And I mean, I usually wait a little bit and I watch at the end just to see if any last minute ones are coming in because I can never usually go back and find them. And then last time, all of a sudden I'm seeing comments. And when I did, when I looked at the, how many hours ago they were posted kind of thing, cause they came in the next morning, I thought, well, those would have come in during the live, but I don't know why they didn't show up during the live. So one of the quirks of Facebook or just one of, one of my, uh, one of my, you know, luck with technology issues. <laughs> Uh, I do that too. I can usually get two more rows of the six sided ones and then some of the half ones. Yeah, there's there's so much around the edge. I know when I first started and I was, somebody was demoing something. I don't know, back then, well, I mean, it was only 10 years ago, but even then the, the live stuff wasn't as much. I think, no, well, maybe it might've been somebody's video. And I remember watching them and they pulled all the dimensionals out of the middle of the sheet. And then they threw the rest of the sheet in the garbage. And I just thought, what are you doing? There's so many. And I mean, if you need a really big piece, well, then that's the way to get it, right? Like just, um, that, I mean, this piece along the edge here, look at this strip. You could cut this entire strip as one big, long dimensional. And yeah, she just tossed it. And I just thought, oh, that's not right. There we go. I lost my little spots there for a minute. So when I was watching, oh, okay, it does show. When I was watching uh, Sarah do this yesterday, she said she's going to stick to all mono, uh, monochromatic right, and just put like Tahitian dots on Tahitian cards. And, and I thought, well, how, how are they designed? Um, but when you look at the pictures, you can see this one has three different color ones. That one has three different color ones. That one seems to have two different color ones. Three different, three. So yes, in a lot of cases, they had put three different colored ones. Um, I'm gonna go with the mono as well, because that's what I like. I'm going to go with one here. I feel like I shouldn't put them off the edge of that card. They look kind of funny there in the, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I, you know, sometimes I think I'm using the wrong words, but the crotch of the banner is a little bit white up there. So I'm going to put them there. So that's how easy these cards go together. And look, you guys make me happy. So there's one card. 
have so much stuff on my desk. I don't know where to put things. I'm running out of rooms to like stash things. Okay, so the next one has lots of gold foil on it. And what does it do? Okay, so this is one of the ones you're gonna want to line up. Uh, this is the other thing, and I'm not sure honestly if she had if she hadn't said it last night in the live. I'm not sure if I would have caught that. I would have just thought, oh, gold. But I'm trying to make it focus. It's focusing. Oh, there we go. She said, look, you don't even have to wrap twine around it because they've wrapped, they've made it look like there's twine wrapped around it. And I look at it now and I'm like, of course, it totally looks like twine. At first, I just thought it was gold accents. But they have done the twine work for you. Okay, so this one has a U over top of it. And then it's got one of these. as well that says you can do anything. So you, so you could have just for you, you make me you, <laughs> that's making any sense. Um, you can do anything. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking you only have two options on this one, just for you and you can do anything. So let's go with inspirational because we could all use a boost every now and again, and we will go with you can do anything. See, see, this is what I meant. Here, I'll take the, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating and just like sticking this on the other side because I like to look dangerously. So this is what I meant by, I can't get them on straight. You see there, it's not that it's, it's not so much that it's not, not like it's crooked on the block too, but I don't even have the word lined up straight. Like it goes straight and then all of a sudden it curves down. And I find that if it's, if it's a big photopolymer stamp, I don't have that issue. But if it's one of these skinny little ones, I totally do. And so when you put it down, it naturally goes back to how it's supposed to. Um, I haven't done the paper pumpkin yet. I'm glad you're doing it today. Uh, my soul would scream. I know, Nikki, sometimes it's so hard to watch things live. Um, <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> Dana, Dana and Nancy are both saying they haven't done the kit yet. So I didn't even take my label off here. Um, well, let's see how well I do, because like I said, I have a hard time seeing these things. Um, before I started doing these as lives, um, yes, <laughs> I can't see anything. Um, before I started doing them as lives, uh, it would take me weeks <laughs> to do my kit on a regular basis. And I thought, I'm going to make myself do these kits and I'm going to do them for other people so they can see. Because the one thing that you really need to do, um, I don't know if there's a time limit on the voucher, but if you have a voucher, you definitely want to know. Um, where did I do it? Oh, there we go. So that if there is a time limit, you use it, the code in time. But it's always good to open open your kit and look through it, make sure everything's there. And I mean, you have to be you have to look enough to like know if it looks like everything's there or not. Uh, you know, sorry, <laughs> I totally distracted myself because all of a sudden I'm like, why did they do tear and tape? How did I get how did I get the first card on? Um, because I'm here, I'm going to put this away. <laughs> I'm so used to I'm so used to that that I did it without even thinking about it. Um, anyways, yes, you, you need to familiarize yourself at least enough with the kit to know if you're missing anything. Because one of the reasons I wait to announce refills is if you're missing something, and it happens. Um, I haven't had very many. Like in, I've had this, I've had every kit. Like I signed up when it started, which I think I think we established that was nine years this March, right? Um, the paper pumpkins been going. So I've, I've gotten every kit they've had. And I think I've had once where something was missing or when they first started doing them, um, sometimes the boxes would just be mangled and the stuff inside would just be mangled. And, and if you if you let them know, they would send you another one. So I've had a, like a couple maybe things where I had to like ask about it. One time I think it was missing a spot and I just told them just because, you know, hey, just so you know, it's missing a spot. I've got full stamp pads, so it didn't matter. Um, and they usually will just send you another kit. So that's why they wait so they, they know. So it's a good idea to at least open it enough to do that. And so I thought, no, I'm going to start. I'm going to start doing the whole thing. Encourage other people to do theirs so that you don't do it a year later and realize something's missing and then you can't. I've seen people post on the on the fan page and on the demo page. I'm just getting around to doing this now. I, I notice it. It's missing the stamp set. Does anybody have one I can borrow or buy? So you just want to save yourself that. Um, okay, they used to have a little, 
They used to sell little lines that you can put on the side of the blocks. Oh, <laughs> totally fancy. I think I saw those, the grid lines. And it's not even, it's not so much this, as soon as I like, and you know what I think part of the problem is too? I said I wouldn't put that over top of my twine now. I'm gonna put that below. Um, I think what I should do is when it's something like this, I really should use a bigger block because part, I think part of the problem is when I'm looking down, I'm looking at like this is beveled. I'm looking at the, like the edge of the block. So I'm trying to find the label through the, and I'm not even looking straight through. So I, I bet you if I used a bigger block, but the risk with the bigger block is, is you might rock the stamp because I do that. Um, and then you, you end up with little halos, which I don't want. So I find, yeah, I just pop them off. But yeah, having those, having those grid lines or, and you know, this is how this is how much work it would have taken me to take out a piece of grid paper. It's always just underneath on the shelf on my desk. It's always right there because you can lay your stamps on. Okay, this is a, this is a funny example. On regular grid paper, this was a vet grid paper. On regular grid paper, you can lay your stamps just on the grid lines, right? So if you laid your stamp down like this, make sure it's straight, and then pick it up on the block. But if you look at these ones, these ones are more decorative than anything. I don't know if it shows as well on there. They're wavy. So it looks more like chicken wire. It's not really a very distinct line. But on the regular grid paper, yes, you can uh, you can use the lines as well. Um, sometimes I just take the glasses off too, because sometimes I do think it is the, the progressive nature of the glasses that's screwing me up. I'm gonna put that right there in the middle. So there you go. You can do anything. I'll put my card over there. Um, part of the reason I'm doing this, these cards, I love these colors. And these, these colors, you have to see, you have to see to believe how pretty they are. Um, but when you see them all together, every time I see them all together, I still go, man, those are nice colors. <laughs> okay, so this one is Starry Sky. And I'm gonna do this because I happen to know what she did with this card and I think it'll be easier in the end. Now what I do with my tarot tape. And uh, use bigger blocks to see this. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. Like, and I mean, this one, I just threw this on here because it was sitting on the desk. This is a square one. This one came out of one of the kits. So it's got straighter edges. So you don't have the same issue as you do with the bevel. But even this, like, so this, because it's in the middle, the I can see the edges of the label now. But on the other one, they're just it's just too close. But again, you just have to be careful when you're using a much bigger block that you don't rock, rock the block. You save that for the parties afterwards. Then you can rock the block. <laughs> I am pretty sure in my 55 years of life, I have never rocked the block, but uh, the party animal that I am. Okay. I prefer to laugh than to rock. So maybe that's where it comes from. Okay, so I am going to line up the bottom edge of my wavy edge. Try to, get, try to get it straight on the side as well. And then when you fold it closed, you get a bit of a reveal at the bottom too. Isn't that pretty? I'm not generally a gold fan, but, or quite honestly, an ombre fan. But I, these, car, these colors overcome anything. These colors are so nice that they make everything look good. Um, where did this one? This one has best wishes on it. So this is one of the ones that is no stamping. Now, because <laughs> for some reason, this piece is really does not want to come out of there. See, in this case, I am going to use the ones on the side because they're a little bit bigger, because this is a much bigger piece. Yes, I cut the other side, but somehow I've decided to cut this one too. So you could, uh, there, this, there was a stamp set. Um, Couple catalogs ago that it that made the it was the letter dies um that had like the oh they 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 had like little triangles and they were on so you could like line them up i can't that's a horrible explanation anyways they were outlined and they had stamps that you could color on the inside so you could certainly leave these just as the white best wishes that they are or you could color them in you could get super fancy and you could ombre color them in um, or you could color them different colors, or, like you do all sorts of things with them. I, however, because this is going on this starry sky background, 
The only problem I have with this card is I put all these splatters on it and then you're gonna cover a whole bunch of them up. <laughs> um, I guess you could, no, you pretty much have to put it there. It kind of looks funny in the other places. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could color them if you wanted to add a bit more color to them. If you if you had um, the patience of a saint, you could fill them in and color them gold, um, emboss them in gold, but you'd have to like fill in all the letters and then gold emboss. And <laughs> Whoever does that, let me know. I'll send you a prize. <laughs> uh, not a gold pen, either silver or copper and pewter. Oh, I know, I love the pewter. I like silver. I'm not a huge fan of shiny, so I do prefer silver to gold. But even if I was going to pick silver, I'd pick like burnished silver or yeah, pewter or something like that. Um, I don't know why. I just I, I've never been a never been fancy. Okay, so I don't think we've used these blank ones yet. So I'm gonna assume the blank ones are the last two. Oh, let me see. I just again, I am making such a mess on my desk just off camera that you can't see. Uh, this one has a U in it. Okay, where'd the one go that I opened earlier? minute. So like I said, this one, this pops out. <laughs> I got too many things. This pops out. And this is spare. So this will be someone's alternative. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could put it on the inside, just, you know, jazz it up a little bit. You could cut it in half and oh, you, could, you could cut it in half and put half on the inside, half on the envelope. But you do have Oh, there we go. You do have little splotches, so you could go around. I have all the in color stuff because when I sometimes when I see the in colors, I think eh, and I dabble and I'll buy like the odd pack of paper or I might buy some some ink pads. When the I think it was the last ones, the second last ones came out, I bought cinnamon cider because I love that color gingerbread, and I bought misty moonlight. I bought the ink pads, the paper, the blends, the everything. The other ones I bought a like a combo pack that showed all the five colors. Because until you actually see the, I find, until you actually see the cardstock, you don't really, you don't get the full feel of the colors. So I had bought that one, but I didn't buy any of the rest of the stuff. Um, but in this case, I bought it all. So like these little dots that are in here, you could, I have all the different color ink pads. I mean, I could just stamp like some little like dot patterns on the inside or some dots on the envelope if you want to decorate them up. So there's ways to do that. I don't know. I really should have. I really should have uh, looked. I don't know if there's a, it seems to me what you should do is you should lay this or put this down and like pop this up for dimension. But I feel like I'd rather do it backwards. And maybe there's not a backwards, it's crafting. There's no real, it's not like there's laws. Um, but I'm going to tape this down. I'm gonna pop up the U. And that U, what does their sample say? Their sample says just for you. So just for you would work. Uh, you make me you. Nope, there we go again with that one. You can do anything. Okay, this one's a little trickier because, so just for you definitely works. <clears throat> but you, you basically can only stamp in front of the you or like before the you. So, because there's not enough space here to, like you'll, you'll be squishing. But I'm wondering, actually, that's not true. You could almost fit, and you'd have to put something else up here, though, because it would look really offset. But you could almost put you, my life, if somebody is your entire life, your day, your, now, yeah. This one, this one, you don't have as many choices. I'm trying to make those work, but let's face it, they don't. Uh, okay, so here, we're going we're gonna to test the theory. We can get this stamp off the block. And I'm going to use a bigger block this time. Well, let's test that. How about maybe I should quit being such a squirrel and finish putting the base on the card? I did. I was thinking at first I'm going to put dimensionals on this, and I was about to put them on right away. But it's probably easier to stamp first than put the dimensionals on. Oh, this one has quite a reveal around the edge of it, just in case you're wondering. It's got a good like eighth of an inch around it. Um, do I? Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. I totally forgot on the last card. We'll go back to that one in a minute. Can you figure out what I forgot on the last card? I'll stamp this and, and you guys see if you can figure out what I uh, what I did wrong on the last card or what I missed. It is definitely easier to see on the bigger block. 
exactly where I'm going because I can see like I can see all the way down to here and around and off the edge and in this case I was just lining up there but still you can see a whole lot more on a bigger block. Um, okay so this one says just for you and I'm going to pop it up. <laughs> Has anybody figured out what I forgot? I guess it's, I mean, I could, I could lie and say, no, no, I was making the artistic choice, but nope, just forgot. Okay, so this one, and this one has a pretty good reveal in the middle too. So just for you. Yeah, see, I kind of like that. <laughs> and again, you could pop this layer up with that one flat. Normally, if I was going to pop a layer up and this middle part was going to be flat, I would stamp directly on the card. So you could do that too, and then you've got an extra sentiment for later. Here's a hint to what I forgot on the last card. I'll add some <laughs> embellishments. Um, what is this? This is orchid. This has a purple tinge to it. I, as I looked at, I looked, made, I made the <laughs> dimensionals. Nope. <laughs> Good guess, though, Nikki. No, I totally forgot to put the embellishments on the last card. Um, you know why though? Because when I looked at it and I saw the little that enough of the splotches were sticking out, I was happy, and then I totally forgot there was no there's no embellishments on it. Um, when I, I I looked up at the screen and and I looked and I thought, well, that looks like it's blue. What color did I just grab? But when I look at it in person, it it definitely looks purple. So this is orchid. Darn it! I got to cheat again. Orchid orchid oasis. Part of the problem that I'm having with with the um, getting the colors right. Stampin' Up! It was a lot of fun this time. As they were revealing these colors, they um, they made a game of it and they said, give us hints. So I was guessing. So I had a couple guesses that were close. Like this one, I did guess Orchid, but I, at no point did I guess the word Oasis. I can't remember what I had. Um, but now when I try to think of the right color, I, I confuse myself because I'm trying to remember, was that my guess or is that the right color? Like I had Starry Night was my guess for one of them and the actual color starry sky. So that's very close. So now every time I go to say the color, I got to remember if the one I'm thinking of is the one I thought of or the actual one. Um, you know what, I'm not, I'm not actually going to put dimensionals on, or not dimensionals, embellishments on that one because I don't see, I, I don't have a problem with, with um, embellishments. Rule of three, you put two in one place, you put one in the other place the the actual rule is like try to make kind of like a triangle out of it sometimes so this makes a triangle like if you join the points um but i always it always seems to me i can always find a place to put them uh, even if they're like a weird place like that's just because of the way the lines are going that's what looks good to me on this one i don't see anything automatically so that tells me don't do it because <laughs> wherever i put them it just i just won't be where i want them Okay, last card. How are we doing? 42 minutes. See, this is probably a much faster kit if I wasn't rambling the entire time. Um, rambling, imparting ever so beneficial tidbits as we go. Okay, so, and here's, and this is why, this is why you hang out. The old Orchid Opulence was a lot more purpley. Uh, you know what? Uh, Orchid Opulence, I've heard a lot of people mention that, and that was before my time, because, uh, I, I don't recognize that name. I mean, I, I've heard it so many times now I do, but I don't remember it like firsthand. So here's the thing with this last card. That's not super obvious in this picture because it's ombre and because the white part is kind of at the top, you can't see it as well. They have these all perfectly lined up on this card and then they put stuff over top of it. Um, when Sarah did hers, she did Kitty Wumpus. <laughs> Great, and just kind of like slanted them a bit. So she peeled all hers off and did it. And she said she purposely made it crooked. So she didn't have to worry about being straight. So there's a thing. So after she had done hers though, somebody off screen, so I, I don't know who to give the credit to, but it was a genius idea. Uh, somebody off screen who was helping her said, use this as the guide. So I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I don't know if it would work, but what the heck? Sorry, I just realized I'm, 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 I'm live and I'm down like this going, oh, look, I have a little piece of hair on my shirt. Um, I'm kind of curious if you put the adhesive on and stuck it down, could you then peel it up <laughs> and pull it away from this as you go? You know what? I'm going to do one of them just because I don't know if it'll work or not. But now that I've, now that I've had that thought, you know I can't not. <laughs> 
Um, and these are a little bit wide. So I'm actually going to do. See, my, my instinct would be to stagger these. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to stagger them, but I am going to try one of them to, to see if it would work. And if not, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm pretty sure she meant, not the weird way I'm about to try it. But hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Is part of the subtles or brights when I first tried stamping in 2007. So I first did stamping in 2012. I'd never even heard of Stampin' Up before. I don't know on Aubrey did. Should the white go up or should the color go up? It's kind of reverse. I think I should do it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one down a little bit. So if you were doing what she said, this would, you'd have a lot, it would be a lot easier, but I'm curious. So if you really wanted them all lined up, if you, if you wanted them lined up in the middle, you would actually center this because I know I'm gonna stagger mine. I'm not centering it. But you can, look at that, it does work. I don't know if it's easier, but it does work. Um, so I think what she meant though, and I will do this, and then I will get back to, I will tell you my story about how I learned about Stampin' Up. I may have told it before, I'm not sure. But lucky you, you get to hear it again while I line up these squares. Okay, so <clears throat> I think what she meant when she said, you could use this as a guide, <laughs> is to pull all of these out and put adhesive on them. And I'm actually gonna put, uh, because that's how I roll, I'm actually gonna put embellish, or not embellishments, um, dimensionals on some of them, and then they'll get them ready and then lay this back down and just kind of lay them into it. But really, if you, if you wanna get them lined up, this is the perfect guide to line five of these up in the middle. But it does work just to put the tape on them <laughs> and whip them off. Okay, so I am going to go and I'm going to rate, like this was my idea. I was just going to go all, that one's going to be higher. That one's going to be somewhere in the middle. This one's going to go, this one's going to go low and this one's going to go high. Some of them have gold. Oh, I should have paid more attention because the ones on the edge, actually, you know what? Uh, well, just, I'm just going to offset the, I'm just going to offset the words so I don't hide all the gold. There, so this is this is the same idea. I want them to be more dramatically different though. Um, make them intentionally crooked so you they know you weren't trying to line them up. Okay, so I'm making mine all weird. And then I'm gonna put each the middle ones, I'm going to put up on dimensionals. So while I do that, I will tell you. So my son was four years old, and at Christmas time, we found this kit to make wreaths wreaths um, for Christmas. It was this foam kit with all the little like punched out pieces. And he was so excited. And so everybody, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, everybody got a wreath made by lovely, not quite four-year-old. And you glued the pieces of the wreath on with white glue. So needless to say, the entire living room, which is where we decided to do this on the living room table, was covered in white glue and little bits and pieces of felt and every other thing that was there. I pretty much have always banned glitter in the house because I don't like glitter. I know I'm such a rebel. I'm, I'm all these things I'm telling you tonight that I don't like. Um, so they, it was like a it was like a disaster area after we were done. It was so messy. So then fast forward a couple months. It's February. I keep missing placing my stuff. It is teachers convention and. When I was working, one of the things I did was a junior forestry ranger program, which is a fantastic program for high school students to get forestry experience in the summer to decide if that's a good career for them or not. And it works either way. If they do it and love it and go, oh my God, that's the best thing ever. I'm gonna be a forest ranger. Great. If they do it and go, oh goodness, no. Then that, that's good too, because they'll learn a lot about the forest and you know, how to behave and everything. And they won't pick a career that they're not gonna enjoy. It's not for everybody. Sorry, that was my PSA on the junior forest ranger. Um, so I was in that program. So we, we used to go to the teachers conventions all the time um, to meet the high school students and answer questions about the program and stuff. See, Nikki, I'm not the only one who doesn't love glitter. Um, so I happened to be next to a table with Joan and Tammy Dunbar. And that is how I met her. So I'm at the table and I, you know, 
the teachers conventions, I don't know if they're always that way, but in my experience, they always seem to be teachers of younger grades. Like there was way more of those than there was the high school and junior high. We'd have some junior high teachers come over and ask and they'd be like, oh my God, that program sounds great. Oh no, my kids are too young. So, but we were there and I mean, it was a good idea to let a junior high person know about them because then, you know, they could always pass it on and say, hey, grade nines, guess what you guys can do next year? So we talked to everybody, but our table was definitely not the busiest table at the, at the place. <laughs> um, but next door to me, people are doing make and takes. And I'm looking over and I'm thinking, what are you doing? And one of the things they were doing is they were using this at the time it was the snail, but they had the adhesive, right? And so I'm watching them put these cards together and they're like zip, zip and glue and stuff together. And I saw that the, the seal. And I was like, oh my God, that is so, because I still had the fresh, you know, trauma of the white glue in my mind, I guess. And so I saw that seal and I thought, oh my God, that is the greatest thing ever. So I waited till it was slow there. And uh, it happened to be Tammy. Joan had, Joan was a teacher still at the time. So I think she had gone like to look around or whatever, but it finally had slowed down enough that they, they didn't have anybody at their booth. I didn't have anybody at mine. And so I went over and I said, what are you doing? which is how I start a lot of conversations. Walk up to somebody I've never met before and go, hey, what are you doing? Um, and found out all about Stampin' Up! And I got a catalog from Tammy <clears throat> and they had a door prize going where I could, I could um, draw. And so I drew the door prize I got was a party, this back when, you know, this was such an easy thing to do, but the party for, I think it was me and six friends where we could go and make three cards and, you know, the standard, Way the party used to run and so I thought oh my god this is great so it took a little bit we didn't end up going till the end of April because major snowstorm the first time I remember that but anyway so I had like a bunch of friends at work and different people I'd never heard of Stampin' Up as I said so I'm thinking well some of these guys I know are crafty let's probably start asking some of my friends if they want to come and try this with me and I asked my sister and sister-in-law on that and so my sister and sister-in-law I think we're in the same boat as me um I wasn't paying attention and I put adhesive or sorry dimensionals on all of these and I was only supposed to put dimensionals on some of them that's just sorry let me just pay attention to what I'm doing for a second um this is the beauty of dimensionals they roll right off uh, the h can't be on there because the h hits there so yes so my sister and sister-in-law had not heard of stampin up but every other person I asked was like oh my god stampin up I love stampin up they'd all heard of it and Three of the people I asked, like friends from work who still craft with me, um, had been to events with Tammy before. That's what a legend she was in stamping when it first started. Um, and I was just like, well, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> so that's how it all started. I, uh, I saw a, a snail. It solved my, my pain point of white glue trauma and uh, once I went, I signed up the first night. Like, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just like, oh my God, I need more of this stuff. And I bought, the starter kit back then was over 200 bucks, but I had bought that much stuff anyways. And uh, the rest they say is history. Uh, no looking back. I was 10 years ago in April. But anyways, it all started with a seal. That's what I'm going to call my autobiography. <laughs> okay, I'm not writing an autobiography, but that made me laugh. Um, yep, I think it's, I think it's time to end now. I think Tracy's getting a little goofy. Okay, what is this supposed to say? Sorry, you'll be happy to know we're on the last card. Okay, so this, this, this is where the long ones come in. So this could be happy to celebrate your day or happy to have you in my life. There are many, many people I'm happy to have in my life. So yeah, I don't know why I even try. I'm just gonna go right back to doing it this way. See, and this one is a very wide block. On this very big banner. So this banner is really wide. This banner is going to fit across the whole thing. I was going to offset it, but then I, I realized that uh, if I punch these up, that didn't work as much. But so on this big banner, you can put right in the middle. You can put it off to the side because I'm centering the other. I got enough other stuff offset. I will just make this in the middle. But yes, many people I am happy to have in my life. I will have no problem finding someone to give that to. I will close my ink pad before I have it. And oops with that. And then, okay, this time, okay, so here I'm going to try Tamara's trick this time. Okay, this is going across 
all of the banners. So instead of trying to guess on the back of the banner where I need this thing to be, I'm just gonna put the little dimensionals on the card, and then I'm just gonna match it up. Because that Tamara, she's a smart one. Coincidentally, one of the people I'm happy to have in my life. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, that's much easier <laughs> to put the dimensionals down in the low spots. And then enter that bad boy there. Put it a little bit lower than I wanted, but it will still work. Oop, there we go. Happy to have you in my life. And yes, I'm pretty sure that this parakeet party is my favorite of the end colors, which is which is saying a lot because they are such good colors. Oh, they're just amazing. Is that a triangle? Nope. Not quite. So there we go. Happy to have you in my life. And why do I not put things straight? Oh, I don't know. Why would I? So here we go. I have too much stuff in my way. Lovely, lovely envelopes with lovely, lovely cards that go together really quickly. And like I said, there's one more of each. I'm just saving you the pain of watching me do them all again. But look at these colors together. Are they not amazing? I love them. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, like I said, let me know if anybody finds a golden voucher because I would be I'd be thrilled for somebody if they got one. And uh, go make your kits, ladies. They're fun to make. And look at all the pretty cards you get out of them. There you go. Have a great weekend, everyone. I will be back on Tuesday with something. I'll see you then. Take care.